All right, welcome back everybody to Make It Mental. <clears throat> Today I want to show, share with you how I did my uh, graphic for the COVID-19 rally car that I made and how I'm sure one of you guys can improve upon it and make it better. I'm going to show you how I did it to inspire any one of you guys out there who might be curious. So I come up with a picture that you see here. And then if you look very carefully, there's a real light pencil outline that very roughly resembled the hood of the rally car. So I drew it out, right? How I wanted it using graph paper. And there's a reason why I use this graph paper is because it's very porous and you know, no lie to make. And then I made a, what you would call a carbon copy, pretty much non-existent nowadays. So you just take a number two pencil or a pencil and you'd scribble all over it like you see right there. And then you transfer it to your next piece of paper that you see that the part has been cut out. So there's the part that I cut out right there. And it wasn't always black, it was graph paper. So what you do, once you got your part cut out, you're gonna mix a 50-50% by volume, meaning, for example, one ounce of glue, any kind of wood glue, could be Elmer's glue, wood glue, whatever it is. Just make sure it's a water-based glue because you wanna be able to get it back off, right? You mix up a 50-50% ratio and you're gonna get this all nice and wet and soggy with that glue. Then you're gonna place it down anywhere on your body and then you'll brush it again. And that'll help soak right through the paper and stick to the body. Then you're gonna wait. Try not to bend or twist the body because it will eventually come back off. So that's how I did uh, this alien looking deal right here. And then there's my logo. And as you may have noticed from the car, it didn't quite turn out the same. It's, it's all kind of twisted. And that's because in these thin areas right here, I actually broke one of the logos like three times trying to get it to stick. And I got two logos at the same time because I folded this piece of paper in half right, and got two of them. So I was able to do a left and right side. And it's the same deal. Stick it where you want to, brush it on with a, your glue mix, paint the base color in black, for example, like I did. And then you get it wet and then you peel off your, your graphic. And that leaves you a fresh exposure. Let me show you the, the other one here. Pause it for a second. So now you can paint whatever graphic you made. And it almost looks like it was cut out of the paper. It was on a previous one, but this is the graphic, or one of them. And you can see kind of how shiny it is. And that's just the leftover glue. So you can remake this again if you wanted to, or reuse it somewhat. But uh, once you paint the graphic on the car, at least if you're doing this particular one, you're gonna have to break the line here, 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 etc. Once it's painted on the vehicle, then paint it again black. And this is the negative image of the CVR. This is the one remaining piece here. So that's what it would look like on the negative. And I guess a positive image, I mean, you're paying if you're looking on the left or right side. But as you can see, that was the one that constantly broke on me, constantly broke on me. So the, the word of advice right here is if you're doing any kind of lettering, you can see how thin it is right through here, but it becomes very, very delicate and it breaks real easily. But you can add just a little bit more glue, a little bit more water and try and manipulate it back into place. As you can see, the R was broke right here, but it's still being held in place by glue. So I hope that inspires you guys. If you want to make your own custom graphics, if you know how to make it better, leave a comment and then a link in the description. And I'd be curious to know because Paint and I, we do not get along at all. We are not friends.